God turns his back on our people, this is what is produced. Look around. Adultery, fornication, unwed, unwed mothers, this is what is produced when God turns his back on us. 2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. you would call a lascivious lifestyle or a an alternative lifestyle or a sodomite lifestyle read without natural affection you see that brother brother man god said in these days our people will be living without natural affection what is natural affection think about it natural what the word affection Right, but what, what does it mean living without natural affection? Huh? What do you mean the other way? Don't, hey, just say it. What do you mean you're going to be going, huh? You ain't going to like girls. So if you don't, if a, if a brother doesn't, uh, it doesn't have the natural affection, which is being with a woman and getting married and having kids, what lifestyle does he go into? Huh? Right, exactly. That, that's what it means without natural affection. Sis, come on up here. We see you listening. Come on up here. Read on. Truth breakers. Truth breakers. Read. False accusers. False accusers. Is that not the times we're living in? Aren't our people falsely accused of crimes they didn't commit? Spending decades in jail. This is the times we're living in. Read. Incontinent. Incontinent. You know what incontinent means? Lack of self-control. Right. That's the time we're living in. The brother, he wanted sex. One woman, two women, three women. A sister want three men, four men at one time. That's the time we're living in. Read. Fierce. Fierce. Violent. Are now people a violent people? Look to your look to your right hand side. Who do you see there? Who do you see? You see two guys there, right? Who, who are they? What are they? Why are they there? Because we are violent towards one another. Since wouldn't you agree we're violent towards each other? Isn't there black on black crime without people? Absolutely. Read that part again. Fierce. We are fierce. We are violent towards one another. Read. Despisers of those that are good. Despisers of those that are good. What does that mean? What does good mean? Hold that. Let's get good. Romans chapter 7. What does it mean? Despisers of them that are good. Despisers of them that want to keep God's commandments. Because I'm going to tell you something. Amongst our people, we are. We, there's a lot of wicked and very little righteous. You understand? So we are, we are brought up in a place that pushes wickedness, that pushes do what you want to do. Do what's in your mind. And what's in our mind? Evil. What's in our mind? Evil. You got it? Come on. Romans 7 and 12. So remember we read despisers of them that are good. Let's see what good is that our people generally despise. Read. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. The commandment is holy, it is just, and it is good. That's right. So since you understand what the what the what uh, God is saying? His laws are holy, they are just, and they are good. That's what our people despise. They don't want to do it. Give me, Je give me Jeremiah real quick. Oh, Timothy, give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Because this is what our people want to do. Our pe Remember, America feeds our people's wickedness. Whatever our people are into, whatever's in the back of our people's mind, America is going to feed it. And I'm going to show you that that's wickedness. Read. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Come on. The heart is deceitful above all things. God says the heart. What is the heart? Is the heart 
here? No, the heart is here because this is where your mind, this is where your thoughts come. You understand, sis? Read that again. The heart is deceitful above all things uh -huh. and desperately wicked. The heart is what? Desperately wicked. The heart is what? Desperately wicked. God says the heart, the mind is desperately wicked. Right. Do you understand what that means? Our people want to do evil 24-7. But to do good, our people hate it. Our people hate good. Give me that in uh, Isaiah 61. Most darkness to people. Because America, we're living in America, has destroyed, has decayed our people's mind. Wouldn't you say so? Sis, would you would you agree? Has America decayed the mind of the black and Latino man and woman? And the like would you agree? Where are you from, sis? Colombia. Colombia. So you would agree, correct? Let's see what I'm sorry? Exactly. America plays on our wicked. What we have to understand is we are living in perilous times, but the most high God has given us a way out. He has given us a way out, and that's the laws of God. Come on. You got it? Come on. Isaiah 60, verse 2. Come on. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. So wait a minute. God says darkness shall cover the earth. Read on. And gross darkness the people. What does that mean? God says gross darkness will cover the people. That's particular. It's talking to a specific people. What people have darkness encompassed? Sis, what people has gross darkness covered? Because it said gross darkness, the people. Black people, would you agree? Black people in America is who is encompassed and gross in darkness. Read on. But the Lord shall rise upon thee. But what? But the Lord shall rise upon thee. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. How has the Lord done that? How has the Lord done that? Hold that. Uh, Revelation 11, 11, 11. This is how God's spirit has shined on us in these last days. Listen up. Revelation 11, 11. And after three days and a half. After three days and a half. After 350 years right. of a dead state. We. The spirit of life from God entered into them. That's the light that God shined upon us. Read that again. The spirit of life from God entered into them. After 350 years, the spirit of life from God entered in unto us. What does that mean? There was going to come a time of the awakening of the Israelites. We are living in the times of awakening. Give me a scripture. Is there more than it? Let's finish it. And they stood upon their feet, uh -huh. and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So what does that mean? We stood upon our feet. You know what that means? We repented. Right. We repented. Right. We changed in the land of our captivity. We changed. That means we stood upon our feet, and what? And great fear fell upon them which saw them. And great fear fell upon them who saw them. You know who the them is? Who is a, who, who, let me ask you this. Who is afraid of black people? Mm. Who? The Edomite. Okay, sis, you smiling, but you don't. You, you remain tight-lipped about it. Who? White man. Who? Who would you say is afraid of black people? Everybody, <laughs> particularly the so-called white man. Read that part again. And great fear fell upon them which saw. Them. Great fear fell upon Esau because he is the so-called white man. The Bible says great fear fell upon the so-called white man and the nations that see us. So now, great fear has fallen upon the nations that see us repent. Because that's why they're here to destroy us. You understand? We are a destroyed people. Give me that real quick, Hosea. Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6. We are a destroyed nation of people, but this Bible is our wisdom and stability in these times. You got it? Come on. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God said, my people my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Sis, what is the knowledge that black and Latino people are destroyed for? Because God said we're destroyed for lack of knowledge. What is the knowledge, huh? Let's get the knowledge of God that, we are, that our people are destroyed for. What would you say black people are destroyed with? Because God says we're destroyed with a lack of knowledge. We know nothing about ourselves. You hear what the brother said? He's absolutely right. We know nothing about who, are, who we are. We know nothing.
nothing, nothing about ourselves. We're gonna show you what knowledge we lack. What knowledge do black and Latino people lack? Let's see. Malachi 2 and 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, uh -huh. and they shall seek the law at his mouth. Seek the what? The law at his mouth. Seek the what? Law at his law. law. Seek what? Law. Seek the law at God's mouth. That's what our people lack. We lack the laws of God. That's the problem with our people. That right there, sis, that right there, brother, that is the elixir. That is the antidote to our people's problems. The law. The law. God's laws. And these are laws that we have bluntly refused to follow. This is why we are in this condition. Get me Hosea 5.15. You got it? Come on. Hosea 5.15, I will go and return to my place. So God says he will go and return to his place. God turned his back on us. That's what God is saying. When, when, uh, when, when God turns his back on our people, this is what is produced. Look around. Adultery, fornication, unwed, unwed mothers. This is what is produced when God turns his back on us. Read. I will go and return to my place to acknowledge their offense. God said he will go and return to his place until we acknowledge we have done wrong. That's what God is saying. Sis, let me ask you, would you admit you did wrong? Brother, would you admit you've done wrong? Brother with the polo hat. Brother with the polo hat, would you, would, do you acknowledge you've done wrong before the Lord? Because our people say, oh no, I'm clean, I'm sanctified in Jesus. But now, remember, we lack laws. We lack laws of God. You understand? So now we have to understand what laws are we breaking. Come on. And seek my face. So God says we have to seek his face. Let me ask you, brother with the polo hat, how do we seek God's face? You see? And that's, and that's, and that's the answer I can roll with that. We're going to help you. How do we seek God's face? Do you see? Our people don't know how to see God's face, but we ask God for prayer, don't we? We ask him for prayer when we're going through things. Lord, please help me out, but yet we can't, we don't know how to seek his face. How do we see God's face? Is there more than that? Come on. In their affliction, they will seek me early. God says in our, in our affliction, we will seek him early. How do we, how do we learn God's face? Reading the Holy Bible. That's, right. That's how we seek God's face. Read the Bible. See yourselves in the Bible. That's what our people have gone away from. What you have to understand is we are God's chosen. We are the chosen, but we have we have gone down. Give me that in Lamentations 2 real quick. Lamentations 2 and 1. We have we we were a, a people that were on high. Now we're at we're on we're people at the lowest. We are at a low point because we disobey God's law. You got it? Come on. Lamentations 2 and 1. How have the Lord come with the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger? God covered us in a cloud of his anger. Read. And cast down from heaven. And what? And cast down from heaven. Cast down from heaven, meaning cast down from rulership. Unto the earth. Unto, uh, down to the earth. Unto slavery. The beauty of Israel. The beauty of Israel. The beauty of you so-called blacks and Latinos. God has cast that on from high to the bottom. Do you see what God is saying? God is telling us he put us in this, in this captivity. Why? Because we broke his laws. Right. What laws have we broken? I'm going to give you an example of laws that we've broken. Let's start with the woman. Give me Titus, uh, matter of fact, give me Titus 2. Give me Titus 2. Because, sisters, what you got to understand is you are, you have a big role to play. Would you agree? Right. Would you agree the black woman has a big role to play along with her black man? So, you, there's a part that, that and, I'm, and I'm not talking about just you, I'm talking about black women, period, Latino women, period. This is something that our women are not doing today, and this is why our children run amok. This is why our children run around, they're pimps, they're uh, weed sellers, drug dealers, right. raping people, right. uh, gang, gang bangers. I'm going to show you why. Come on. That is two and three. The aged women likewise. The aged women. These are our 
our women in the communities that's supposed to be what? They have they have experience. They've been around. They've been around for a little while. Read that again. The age women like what? That they be in behavior as becoming holiness. See that? The women should be in behavior becoming holiness. Becoming holiness. What does that mean? To be pure. Okay? To be a teacher of children. Read on. <laughs> Not false accusers. God said our women should not be false accusers, but do we have that today amongst black women? Absolutely. Would you say so? Absolutely. Read on. Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much wine. What does that mean? Not to be drunk. But what are our women doing today? You see them all over. They're in the club, right? They're all taking group pictures with their behind out. That's what they're doing. You got older women out there dressed out of order. Everybody wants to be outside, but no sister want to be a keeper of the house. Do you see what's going on? God is talking about what our women should be. But today, our women have gone leftward. Read on. Teachers of good things. God says our women should be teachers of good things. And brothers can swipe their hand at the Bible all they like, but this is God's remedy to a broken nation. That's Read right. that again. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. What are the good things that our women should be teaching our children? Huh? What are the good things that, are you, do you have kids? Okay, so what should you be teaching your children according to the Bible? Uh, respect. respect, okay. Obey. Obey, right, the Bible says obey your parents and the Lord, what else? Follow Jesus, okay, okay. Not white Jesus, but we're gonna follow Jesus. The, the black Messiah, that's what we're gonna follow. Read on. That they may teach the young women. That they may teach the young women. This is where you sisters come in. Teach the young women what? To be sober. To be sober, to be of a clear mind. To be of a clean mind. Read. To love their husbands. To what? To love their husbands. Are, are women teaching their daughters today to love their husbands? Are they teaching them that, sis? Are they teaching them that? Do you have kids? You have one daughter? A son? Okay. Okay, but this is what our women should be teaching. How to love their husbands. This is why divorce is so prevalent. Huh? We're going to show you. You have to teach your son as well. But this is the, the most I is getting on the woman because the women are the first teachers of the children. Read. To be discreet. God says what? To be discreet. Uh -huh. Chase. To be chased. Keepers at home. To be keepers at home. The women don't want to be at home. They want to be out. I'm headed out. Mama, I'm going out. Can you watch little Tyrone for me? I'm going out. I want to go out. That's what our women want to be today. God says, no, no, no. Be a keeper of the house. Is there more? Come on. Good. Uh -huh. Obedient to their own husband. God says the black and Latino woman should be obedient to their husbands. Do you agree? I don't have But do you agree with that? Do you agree with what God says? Do you agree with what God says? You don't agree with being obedient to your husband? Why? That's just rebelling. That's just the rebel in you. You Huh? No, no, but I'm, I'm, God is saying the woman should be obedient to her husband. To her husband. Are you married? Hold on, sis. Say that again. Our community is so broken right now. Mm. The men are so out of mind that the women are rebellious. You, sis, you hit it right on the head. That's the problem. Right. The women, when the men are out of order, the women are out of order. Right. This is why, but now, Titus 2, you're absolutely right. When the men is out of whack, the women follow suit. But now, what is the remedy? 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 How do we fix a broken people? What do you say, brother? What do you say, brother? What do you say? How do we fix a broken nation? You want to learn how to get fixed? Hey, sis, you've come to the right place. Brother, you've come to the right place how to get fixed. You got it? Because what? Get, the, the sister said something heavy. She said, because the men are out of order, the women are. And that's the God honest truth. And we're going to show you that in the Bible. Read on. Proverbs 8 and 4. Come on. Unto you, all men, I call. God said what? Read that again. Unto you, all men, I call. God said, unto you, all men, I call. Unto you, I've called. Why did God call the men? Because the most 
guys dealing with the man on a higher level. Yes. Remember, God said we are gods. So when you behave like a god, when you when you take care of your family, when you obey the Most High's commandments, your woman will follow suit. But because we have gone away from the Most High, the woman has gone out of order. You understand? We ain't gonna get the woman in order unless we're in order. Read that again. Unto you, O men, I call, uh -huh. and my voice is to the sons of men. And my voice, this Bible, is to the sons of men. And not that, and the sis, that's not to say the Most High doesn't deal with women. But what the Most High is saying is, he's calling the men. Why? Because the men are the leaders of a nation right. and the so-called white man understands that the when he when the so-called white man broke the mind of the black man he also broke the mind of the black woman right. you understand we came into captivity hip and hip we came in together sis we leave in together right. you understand and that's biblical give me first kings because now now is the time of repentance now is the time for change remember god says wisdom and stability wisdom, we can have wisdom and stability that's what we need in these times you got it yes uh first kings 847 First Kings 847. Huh? Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, the land where they will carry captives. So wait a minute. God says, brother, brother with the polo hat. God says, if they shall bethink themselves. Come on up here. Come on up here, brother. Come on up here. God has a message for you. Are you listening? I need you to open your ears. Listen up. Let's read that again. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land where they will carry captives. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land they were carried captives. What land were we carried captive or slave to? To where? America. Where were we carried slaves to? America. America. Or what God calls Babylon the Great. Brother with the cavalry with the Cleveland hat. Come on up here. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit 
www.israelunite.org.